So you think that you know the answers to life the universe and everything? Well you would be wrong. Let me explain. After nearly 50 years of research one of the most fascinating scientific breakthroughs in the history of human society is now being realized in government-funded research labs around the world. These development efforts have been advancing several types of time control technologies and the results have reached a performance level that is positioning them to change our world and reality in ways difficult to comprehend. Did you know that the government-funded labs delivering the working results for time travel today are not based upon the popular sciences portrayed in media and movies of traveling faster than the speed of light, near light speed, or through wormholes? They are instead based upon the lesser-known techniques in space-time physics of generating fields of closed time-like curves, CTCs, and superluminal propagation of information using quantum tunneling. In different ways these techniques allow the transmission of matter, information, or living organisms backward and forward in time without the need to make matter move faster than the speed of light. These developments offer the potential for tremendous benefit to human society on this planet and also risk. To help manage these developments and opportunities wisely we all should understand some basics of time control technologies and methods, the basis of the most effective technologies the potential benefits and risks of their use, and also the steps necessary to ensure the protection and benefit to human society on this planet. The possibility of time travel is real and already happening according to some government whistleblowers. If this is true it could go a long way to explaining the many strange effects taking place in our world like weather anomalies and the Mandela effect. So if the real possibility exists for time travel actually occurring as we speak, then is it a big stretch of the imagination that this service would be offered to the super-rich for exorbitantly high prices in order to keep up the Black Project funding costs as some have claimed. Scott Martin of the Aliens vs. God and the Multiverse, a e-book about quantum mechanics, parallel universes plus aliens and goes place in it all, says this if this technology exists and was being offered to the super-rich of course they would buy it. Think about it, you could live at any time place in our history that you choose, how awesome is that? There would have to be rules of course as not to destroy the future of course, but even then just by going mistakes would be made and small or large changes would occur in the timeline. This could explain what we are seeing with the Mandela effect. We at String Theory thank Scott Martin for his insight on this subject. So what proof are people offering that this is actually happening? Let's take a look at some of the evidence. The Charlie Chaplin movie footage from the Chaplin film The Circus, has since become the latest viral sensation to sweep the web, with more than 1.4 million views. The scene in question shows a woman in a long black coat walking down the street and appearing to hold something up to her ear. If you look carefully, she's talking on a thin, black device that is held to her ear. If you notice also that the knuckles are bent in the flat shape, of a phone. In 1939 another young woman was caught on film apparently talking on a thin modern-day style cell phone. Some have reported that Bell Telephones had a mobile phone pilot program and had given some test models out. The only problem with that is this phone's size. I don't know if anyone remembers the first cell phones like the brick. If this is truly a Bell Telephone from the 30s then Bell was way ahead of its time no pun intended. For the for those who say there is no such thing as time traveling, would be wrong. Especially if this picture is to be believed. This crystal clear photo from the 1940s appears to show a real life time traveler. He looks pretty modern. What's even more strange is that the picture has been verified as legitimately real numerous times by experts. The traveler appears to be wearing a knit hoodie, a t shirt, and some wrap around shades. And if this wasn't strange enough, he seems to be holding a modern-day digital camera in his hands. Andrew Carrolls is in a Wall Street wizard who claimed to be from the year 2256 vanished never to be seen again after being charged with insider trading. Johnny Depp and his uncanny ability to take on other personas leave many people speculating that he and one of the super-rich time travelers that we have been hearing about. As everyone knows Johnny Depp is always looking at the deeper questions and is well read in most philosophical authors and publications. Here he is as a young man 
or Bruce Willis often spoke about his love for history and the military. He has often talked about and shown his 1911 pistol, he describes as a beautiful gun, with every grips. Bruce says it was given to him, but not by who and there are no records of this gift. Mr. Willis says the gun belonged to General George S. Patton. So is he living his dream in two different realities. Brad Pitt adores psychological and time travel scenarios like the 112 monkeys that strangely enough both he and Bruce Willis starred together in. Here he is next to Swiss psychiatrist Hermann Rorschach, who is best known for his famous Rorschach ink blot test and was born on November 8, 1884. You be the judge. Mark Wahlberg has often mentioned his actor hero James Dean and we all know his love for fast cars and existentialism pursuits as seen in the movie I Heart the Huckabees. Looks like Mark has hitched the ultimate ride with his ultimate hero. This 15th century painting of what seems to be a exact twin of Michael Jackson after his extensive plastic surgery is hard to write off as just a look alike considering the time period and region and Michael's one of a kind surgically altered appearance. This one really makes you think. Conan O'Brien speaks of his love of military history and often travels to dangerous locations to entertain the troops. You be the judge. Eddie Murphy often shows his interest in black history through both his comedy and movies. You be the judge. Justin Timberlake has caught a lot of flack for veering left onto a dirt road. Man of the Woods his fifth album, released was announced as a return to his Tennessee roots, promising, and delivering, songs influenced by what he called Southern American music. Is there something Justin is not telling us? Eminem we don't know if he is into time travel, but he has the money. You be the judge. Even Jay-Z seems to be signing up and visiting Harlem in the past at the height of the music movement. Jack Black has made a lot of historical movies. You be the judge. Jason Siegel and Lee Jacob. You be the judge. With movies like The Matrix we all know Keanu Reeves is interested in science and parallel universes. Does the 17th century painting tell us he knows more than just the scripts he reads? Did Jennifer Lawrence pay to spend some time or even a lifetime in Egypt you be the judge? Niccolo's Cage is a well-known Civil War and history buff, perhaps he learned his history in person. The Mandela Effect is a phenomenon where a group of people collectively remember a fact or an event differently than what is in our current reality. The term was coined by Fiona Broom. She along with other people, remember Nelson Mandela dying in prison in the 1980s rather than from illness in 2013. If time travel really is going on then many scientists believes we would be experiencing anomalies like described by the Mandela Effect. There are other events similar to this where a large collective group of people remember an event differently. The first Mandela effect on our list is the one from which the phenomenon is named. Mandela, a prominent South African anti-apartheid revolutionary and president, from 1994 to 1999, died on December 5, 2013, aged 95, at his home in Houghton. However, Many people in different countries clearly remember Mandela dying in prison in the 1980s. Many of them even claim they remember his funeral being broadcasted on TV. Many people have happy memories of the Bernstein Bears books. They read them as children, or family members read them aloud. It is a cherished childhood memory. However, 
the books are actually spelled Bernstein Bears. With A in the last syllable, not E as so many people remember this Mandela effect is a bit surprising. The United States of America is a federal republic consisting of 50 states, the right? So why do many people recall the United States including 51 or even 52 states? We all know this legendary Queen song, whose final lyrics is No time for losers, cause we are the champions, of the world. But in fact, there is no of the world. The song just ends with cause we are the champions, and it's driving so many people crazy because they feel 100% sure that they've heard otherwise in the past. We here at String Theory have found proof that they are right, an old video of Freddie Mercury ending the song with of the world. This version can no longer be found on any album or recording other than the one linked to this video. Leading peanut butter in the United States since 1981. Jiff Peanut Butter is a very popular snack but an alternate memory recalling it as Jiffy Peanut Butter is widespread. Here's a Mandela effect for Star Wars fans. The iconic line in the film The Empire Strikes Back where Darth Vader tells Luke Skywalker Luke I am your father is now, no, I am your father. Even the Falmos actor James Earl Jones who read the lines, remembers his lines as Luke I am your father. Actually. There is another Star Wars related Mandela effect. In Episode 4 A New Hope, many fans recall C3PO being completely gold, so they were greatly surprised when they discovered that he had a silver leg the entire time. In fact, a lot of memorabilia do not even feature the silver leg, and as you can see in these pictures, his silver leg seems to switch from the right to the left in different movie photos. So we leave you to your own thoughts on this subject. If you would like to learn more about quantum mechanics and the multiverse, please watch our next video on God vs. Aliens and the multiverse, or click on the link to download the full ebook. Don't forget to subscribe to String Theory and order your full length ebooks. They have tons of unseen before interviews, facts, and real world evidence. And always remember the cat is dead. Oh no wait I think it is alive. Yes yes it's alive again. At least until our next video.